One of the things that takes the pressure off the person that you're sending your details to is to ask for a meeting and not, please can you employ me, ask for a meeting. When I got the job at the BJP I started to add photographers as friends on Facebook uh, from all over the world. Uh, anybody really that's it's engaged in the industry, I haven't met most of them. Because they're on my social, on my Facebook feed the whole time, I know what's happening in the photography world all the time. I know what projects they're working on way before it ever becomes a gallery exhibition or so on. Everyone you've ever admired and respected has failed at numerous points in their life and uh, no one's ever become a success without at least a few failures. If you work at home, it's really hard and you're, it's quite hard to either define your hours of work or be inspired by people. Whereas when you come in and you do a 9 to 6 and you're in a studio space, you can have a coffee and have a quick crit with someone and talk about your work or your ideas. I've met a lot of people, a lot of artists that they'll spend a lot of time creating an online persona that's very kind of quirky, creative, which is fun. But in person, it might not be who they are, so they'll find it very difficult to talk to people. I would always recommend going to galleries that you would like to see your work in, um, that you think you could potentially feature your work in, galleries or representatives. Look at how they're pricing similar work. Watch out for people saying they'd like you to send them a load of work and there's no, you know, no uh, talk of any money, so just be cautious. You almost need to just sort of put yourself in those situations, slightly blag it, and um, it, it will find its feet as long as you've got kind of a very clear idea of what you're heading towards. Uh, so it's hard to get in because lots of people want to work there, so you, you know you have lots of people to kind of be to get in there. And I think generally you look around the room and you generally never feel like you're the smartest person in the room. You just look out there and look at all the things that you see that people put out in terms of flyers and posters and stuff and just ask yourself, could I do a better job? It does really simplify your life. The real genius with Xero is it will let you know when you've been paid and it means that it will reconcile it straight away so you'll never have to kind of worry that a client hasn't been paid. It's all there. You've got to um, really bring something to the team because they're looking for more ways to charge their clients for things. So if you give them a way to actually do that, um, you're going to be very uh, valuable to them. If there's something you need, just do it. If there's um, a resource that is lacking, just create it. Don't wait for funding. Don't wait for someone to say you can do it. Just take initiative and create what you need. Enjoying what we do. Enjoying seeing the best artists make the best work. Oh my god, my community. <laughs> Frightening myself. <laughs> out of repeating myself. Realising the kind of vision that I had, you know, five years ago. Mm -hmm.